In this video we'll be taking a look at MAC address filtering on a Synology router. MAC address filtering allows you to create a list of devices that can be used to allow or deny access to a wireless network, even if the device offers the correct Wi-Fi password. The filtering is achieved by something called a media access control address. This is a unique combination of numbers and letters assigned by the manufacturer to any device that connects to a network. On a Synology router, you can access MAC filtering by logging into the SRM and then opening the Network Center. In Network Center, you need to select Wireless and then choose the MAC Filter tab at the top of the window. To add a device to the filter list, we need to select Create. The MAC Filter window will open and we will be presented with two fields, Description and MAC Address. Clicking on the drop-down menu, displays a list of devices currently connected to the wireless network. When you select a device from the list of devices, the MAC address is automatically added to the MAC address field. We now need to click the Create button to add the device to our filter list. The final step is to set Access Policy. The Access Policy defines how devices connected to the wireless network are treated. If we want devices that have been added to the filter list to have access to the Wi-Fi network, then we have to change the access policy to allow. If we want the devices that have been added to the filter list not to have access to the Wi-Fi network, then we have to change the access policy to deny. Once we've chosen our access policy, we need to select save. However, I'm not going to choose save, as I find using MAC address filtering to be a time-consuming and tedious process that requires constant management because of the number of devices I have around the home. Also, it does not offer any real security for your network. As the MAC address is broadcast in the open, it is easily captured. Once captured, the MAC address can be spoofed by a number of different operating systems. Instead, I rely on WPA2 encryption with a strong Wi-Fi password. For those that are particularly concerned about wireless security, I would also recommend using a VPN connection.